My name is Michael. I work at Red Hat in the OpenShift team doing Kubernetes. By the way, who has heard about Kubernetes? <laughs> Good. Uh, I don't have that much of a, a flashy demo like the like previous one, but I'm going to give my best. So the problem I'm going to try to solve is, is actually this. It's coming up. Oh, yeah. That is the problem. All right. There we go. A more technical... <laughs> Variation is you got containers in your cluster, and basically they're made up of uh, you know C groups, namespaces, and a copy and write file system. You got resources, vector of things like CPU, memory, GPU, disk, ports, and so on and so forth. And you got a couple of questions like how much memory does your app actually consume, or how much CPU time, or what about spikes in the traffic? How can you uh, assess that? So I thought maybe Prometheus is the right thing. Uh, because it is a problem, like, like practitioners actually pointed out that we don't have this kind of vertical scaling uh, automated in Kubernetes yet. You can go and read the blog post later on. That's what I put together, um, quickly drew it there. So essentially Prometheus is uh, taking all these metrics from different pods that where different containers run, and that, that is all in user land, and essentially in system land if you wish. Uh, you have Prometheus and you have Resourcer, which is essentially this POC that does all the heavy lifting or, or outsources all the heavy lifting to Prometheus and then comes up with recommendations um, and then you can actually rescale uh, the pod or the, the container running the pod. If you're interested in the blog post where I described that and, and or the code, then check out this one. So let's switch over to the demo, if the demo gods are with me. So I have a OpenShift cluster running here where I've deployed everything. Obviously, five minutes are not enough. Prometheus, Resource Era, a couple of other things amongst uh, that is Nginx. And now we essentially want to get a, you know, a recommendation. For that, I first observe this Nginx for a while, for example, 30 minutes. And of course, <laughs> awesome. Um, let's see how the network is doing. Okay, probably something else. Anyway, what you should be seeing is a recommendation. Let's see, maybe it comes now. Who knows? I'm not going to live debug that in two minutes I have. Essentially, with the observation endpoint, you say give, um, observe this uh, container engine X in the pod engine X for 30 minutes, and then you get a recommendation, which you know, also won't work, obviously. And with that, you essentially have CPU and RAM that you then can either manually set or there's another endpoint that uh, is adjust that uh, you can use to adjust the, um, the actual um, limits and the request of that container. So that would have been the demo. You would get an observation um, or you would trigger an observation, you would get a recommendation, and then you would be able to set in this last bit here um, the CPU to 230 millicores and the memory to, I don't know, 50 megabytes or whatever. And the main problem with that currently is that you can't do in-place updates. Uh, Docker Engine doesn't allow that. Cryo might help. But the main point, uh, the main takeaway for you is that you can use Prometheus for many things and many more that you might not have uh, actually thought about yet. And with that, I'm actually done. That's it.